All right, welcome back to the channel. Max Torno here from Seven Figure Business Consulting. In this video, I want to talk about seven figure branding because you kind of get away with okay branding up to a certain degree. You can make your 30K a month with okay ish branding. But at a certain point, especially if you're seeking to scale your online coaching, consulting, or agency offer to 80K, 90K, 100K, and beyond, branding becomes a very, very important. In fact, branding mistakes kind of get multiplied and blown up. And then you know, you're know you wondering, oh, why are we not making more money? Why do people not respect us if they go on sales calls with us? Why are we not being seen as authority? And branding has become much more difficult, I would almost say, at least to a degree in a certain area with social media because I see this a lot that there's coaches out there who are posting every day on Facebook stories, for example, or on Instagram stories. And in their head, yeah, they're showing authenticity and they're showing kind of behind the scenes and that is fine. So problem with that. But they're missing a very intrinsic point and that is that literally everything you're putting out there, everything that is visible is branding. It can even be something as tiny as we've had a client, a seven figure client of ours who uh, did a photo shoot and the photo shoot, you know, he's doing, uh, I think, mindset coaching for uh, entrepreneurs, something along those lines. I don't want to get into greater detail here. And uh, he did a photo shoot of him and his Mercedes and it looks all baller and he has a suit and all looks great. But you can see in the background, uh, the Holiday Inn parking lot sign. And I'm like, you know, for him, it's not a big deal. But what actually happens is that yeah, you have a hot, like a cheap hotel chain in the background, that's bad branding and people will see that. And you have to be, become hyper aware of such things with your branding because otherwise it can mess things up big time. Basically the basic premise is, as we're here in our office, did someone just walk through the background of the, of the yeah, <laughs> see branding, that's fine, it's fine for me, because I advocate for you having a team and having an office and so on and so forth, right? If you were somebody who says, oh, you don't need a team, you know, I just do everything alone. If that was part of your brand, this would look very bad. So what I want you to do is I want you to understand that everything you do is branding and I want you to achieve 100% control over your public image. This can be something as small as what are you wearing? Are you wearing a cheap shirt or are you wearing at least a somewhat more premium polo shirt or long sleeve shirt? Do you look like the stereotypical client that you want to attract or not? Because that's the next big important point. You attract who you show you are. If you get a lot of low quality clients, a lot of people that cannot even afford your most basic of basic programs, a lot of people that are simply unqualified, Sure, that has something to do with your lead generation, where you get these clients from, who you're targeting with your advertising or who you're targeting with your organic posts, but it also has a lot to do with how you present yourself. If you present yourself as very premium or at least as a premium version of the stereotypical coach of yours, then you will also attract these types of people. i give you an example. If you're a fitness coach, for example, and um, yeah, on your social media, you're shirtless all the time and you're at the gym and you're working out at the bars and you're just wearing, you know, random shorts that you've bought years ago, then the, the people that you'll predominantly attract are people that do exactly that. People that dress cheaply because they don't want to spend a lot of money. Not even saying they don't have a lot of money. Most of the time, it's just people that don't want to spend a lot of money. If you would change your perception now and you would frequently show yourself in a polo shirt, for example, or a dress shirt, yeah, sure, the biceps could kind of like start, you know, like filling out the sleeves, but at least you're wearing something more professional. You will attract these types of people that value more premium clothes and therefore they will also value more premium services which is going to be you ideally because you should be premium priced you should be charging at least four figures for your service if not even five figures depending on who wants to be working with you and with what intensity so anything and everything that you're posting is branding and if you joke around one evening and you have a little bit of a good time and you want to post you know a little bit of a rant where you've had two or three glasses of wine and you feel like, nah, it's fine, but you look whack, that brand image will forever be burned in your audience's mind when they watch you. 
And I get it that oftentimes, if you're like me, I love sharing. I love sharing my story and I love sharing also kind of more private moments. But oftentimes as my brand has grown and as I'm starting to attract more and more affluent clients, clients that pay me multiple five figures for my service or multiple six figures even, I have to also understand, look Max, you cannot just share everything. All right? And if you really want to share, Instagram has a great function where you should say, uh, share the story only to close friends. I share a lot of stuff only to my close friends that would be quote unquote too whack for me to be sharing publicly because I don't want my public image to come across as me being whacker than I actually am. And that brings me to the next point because a lot of people say, oh, you know, but I really care about my clients. Oh, I am really competent, yada, yada, yada. Yes, great, but if people don't see that upon the first impression, then it does not matter, right? I'll give you the equivalent of that. I'll give you an example. Uh, in my very first business, the dating and advice business and relationship advice business, uh, we often dealt with that, that, you know, I would have a client who said, oh, I'm very funny once the person knows me, right? I can be really very funny once the person spends more time with me. But I always say, look, if you cannot be interesting or funny within the first two minutes, people are not going to give you a chance, right? I didn't make the rules. I wish it wasn't like that. I wish people wouldn't judge you that quickly or even more quickly if you're not dressed the part, for example. There's studies that say people judge you within the first three seconds, right? I wish it wasn't like that, but it is like that. So you can walk around and say, but my service is really great, and but I really care about my clients. If you don't project that to the outside, then people are never going to give you a chance to prove that to them. And that is the core of seven-figure branding because you might get away with a relatively whack profile picture on your social media. You might get away with posting stories that are completely irrelevant to what you're doing that maybe even confuse people or in the worst case scenario, have people think less of you. You can get away with that. But once you want to scale the seven figures, you have advertising running, you have people who are being messaged by your team nonstop, you create more and more of a public perception. And if you're not 100% in control of that public perception, you're going to have a very, very hard time cracking through that plateau of ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 of revenue a month for your online coaching, consulting, or, uh, or, or service providing business. You have to realize that, all right? You basically need to look like the type of end result that people want to achieve with your help. All right? You can write this down as well. You've heard me say this multiple times before. You want to show that you have the end result that your clients desire. And if you cannot show that, you're going to have a bad time. If you're a dating coach, I see this over and over again when beginner people come to me as a dating coach. And they say, yeah, I'm a dating coach. I look at the profile. And it's literally either them being completely alone or them hanging out with five, three, ten other dudes. And I basically say, look, your, <laughs> your profile is one big sausage fest. Yet you're saying, oh, come to me, I'll help you to have a great dating life or find the dream woman of your life. Yet you're alone in all of your pictures, right? There's a logic break in there. For me as the viewer, I look at that and all I see is cool. If I buy this guy's mentoring or course or whatever it is, well, I get to spend a lot of time with more dudes instead of getting to spend a lot of time with the type of women that I want to be dating. So you need to be looking like the end result that people want to have that are in your audience. That's one thing. And the other thing is something that you always want to show is you people want to be able to imagine how awesome it is to be your client. Right? I'm going to give an example. For example, if I now say, in, in my specific example, if all I would show you is me being on vacation and me having such a great lifestyle, 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 yeah, that might hit the, this is the end result that my viewers want, right? Passive income or at least very high active income, being a business owner, having a team that does most of the work. But at the same time, if I show you only me on vacation all the time, you cannot see how it is to be my client because you'd think, okay, if I buy Max Torno's programs or if I get to know uh, uh, his expertise and I'm his client, then all he's going to do is continuously be on vacation and swim in the pool and travel the world. He's not going to have time for me. So what you see me doing all the time 
here on this social media channel or my other social media channels like Facebook, Instagram is you also see me actually working with my clients. My clients are tagging me, my clients are showing that they're on a call with me or I'm showing that I'm on a call with them. I talk about my clients, you get to see my clients, we're doing client interviews and so on and so forth because you need to see, oh cool, if I become Max Torno's client, I got a team there, they have an office, these people are devoted to me nonstop, Max is himself still teaching regardless of what type of client I am, this is great. So you really want to hit both of these points, the on one hand having the end result that your audience desires and on the other hand showing what it's like to be your client and that hopefully has to look very, very positive. So I gave you a bunch of really, really important waypoints here on branding. If you haven't done so yet, go follow me on Instagram because there you see a lot of that in action. If you're not doing so yet, it will show you a lot of kind of like how I'm handling things and you can kind of start adapting that uh, to your specific niche. So great, great kind of passive learning for you. And if you want to know, so we're going to add the Instagram, we're going to edit, can we edit it in here somewhere? Um, and we're also going to put it in the description down below. And if you want me to have a little bit of a more personal look at what you're doing, if you want my team and I to look at where your business is right now and what it takes for you to scale that up from six figures uh, a year to seven figures a year, then go ahead and book a free consultation call with us. I'm going to link our uh, page down in the bottom as well, or I have a link up here somewhere here right now. When you click that link, you can fill out an application. It takes you two minutes to fill it out, just some basic information about where your business is right now, and then you can book an exact date and time where you want my team and I to reach out to you. We'll look at your business, we'll look at your bottlenecks, we'll look at your goals, we'll look at what needs to be ironed out for you to finally be able to scale, and then we can, of course, tell you only implementable steps, no fluff, no sweet talk on what you actually need to be doing to scale. And of course, if you want to be working together with us, we can discuss that on the call as well. Call is entirely for free though, no strings attached. I get it that nowadays, you know, there's so many business experts out there. You don't know who is legit, who can actually help, whose stuff actually works. So these free consultation calls are for exactly that, for you to get to know us a little bit better, for you to get to know my team a little bit better, what we do, who our clients are, what the kind of results are that we deliver. So link is down in the description below. I want to thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.